Western Cape of Cuba. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying out its prayer. Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Break the chains and our freedom. My crew just left, and I'm leaving in about 15 minutes, as soon as my tea is done. I've got the boat all ready to go. I've got permiso de salida, which is my uh, permission to leave. And then this is my receipt, recibo de efectivo. And it shows that we paid, it's about 597 kook, which is expensive. So uh, we spent 600 bucks here. Jesus, I'm glad there were three of us. Um, my water is starting to boil and I need to get out, get out of here before they charge me again. Look behind your back Chase the light When the world is getting darker I have a dream Where love's the only It's all mine. Side. Only me here. So I kinda didn't check in with the guard shack. I hope they don't like come with a gunboat at midnight trying to arrest me. Guess we'll find out. This is a really cool spot. I can see in 40, 50 feet down there, I can see the bottom coming in. And there's like a big container ship graveyard over there. I mean, you probably can't see it from here, but there's a couple, there's a couple ships right here. I'm gonna go dive that tomorrow. That is gonna be cool. We better get some fish. I got that private island I always always wanted. I came in here last night and kind of just ducked in behind this little island and uh, didn't really see it. But man, I woke up. Check this out. I caught two barracuda, which I let go because I don't. I'm not a big fan. And I just caught a bluefin tuna which I already, I already filleted. It don't get much fresher than that. He was alive about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Sashimi time. All right, two firsts are about to happen on Zingaro. One, I'm about to get in the water with my cannon. 
my thousand dollar camera and two I've finally grounded the boat yeah I'm standing in the water so the wind shifted and now we're right next to the beach and the boat is on the bottom. Luckily, I've still got enough tide where I can pull it off. But man, it's gonna be tough. I don't know what to do. Shit. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to pull it off and hope I can drive her off. I mean, I can, I think. Drive her backwards and then put the rudders down. <laughs> Oh, I screwed up. Damn it. The wind like totally shifted, almost 120 degrees. And now it's blowing. All right, so I'm gonna try to catch us off with another anchor. I got this anchor out there. I can't really see it that well, but this line goes off to our side. And then the main anchor is right in front of us. Okay, I've got uh, the front anchor up and the other anchor is the only thing holding us on. So, here's where the other anchor goes. Whew! I got the motors running, so I'm gonna back into that thing and raise it up and get the hell out of here. That took me like an hour. I hope it works. I I'm gonna get blown right onto shore. So, I kedged us out with the other anchor, got the first anchor up, got the other anchor up, backed us out, almost ran aground again. And then it really picked up and I got the sails up and we're moving at like eight knots now. So I'm gonna take advantage of it. Looks like I'll be up all night. <laughs> this is crazy, man. It's like days of boredom followed by 10 minutes of terror. <laughs> Calder's book, The Cruising Cut, it says, it, it specifically references this place and says that they anchored here, but uh, when I tried to do it, they kicked me out. They said it's not possible due to a national concern that you can anchor in this bay. The thing that sucks about that is it's like 70 miles to the next place I can anchor, so I got to go all night again. I did all night last night. Okay, well, at least the waves have quieted down a little bit. So I've been up for like 36 hours now. I got another six hours to go or so. I'm tired. I just rounded the Cape and the Gulf Stream's right there. And if you don't hug the coast and tack through it, it'll get you and it'll just slow you down from seven knots to four, three. I tried to pull into a little uh, uh, scuba diving town today and they kicked me out. They said it was national security, I couldn't stay there. Oh, it was pretty too, and it was protected. Should've just told him my boat was broken. <laughs> Tow me off! So this is the aftermath from sailing for four days. This is day four. My boat's trashed. Dishes. Dirty ass stove. I've been sleeping here 
sunflower seeds all over the cockpit from that's my watch snack tea stains oh my god it feels so good to be done sailing holy crap four days is a long time like by myself without anywhere to anchor all right i decided to leave the mooring i was at in the cayo san felipe that was over there actually i'll show you outside but it's really windy so i'm gonna have to like overdub this we're doing seven knots on may alone and it's like six feet deep please please please, please listen carefully it's only gonna be too late it's only gonna be too late and the other label and the other label it's gonna be it's gonna be hot neck and wonder hot neck and wonder big brother thunder big brother thunder and the master blaster and the master blaster take me all motherfucking dope smokers to the moon 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 <laughs> that they use to get back and forth between the mainland and the isle. They're Russian. That's awesome. So I'm in Nueva Girona. It's the capital city of the Isle of Juventud. Uh, I'm going to show you some of this place. It's a really cool place. The internet is not working uh, as I would like it. Each one of these cards is a dollar fifty. This is how the internet works. And you scratch off the number here and it you input it for an hour and every hour it resets and I tried for three hours yesterday to upload a movie and onto YouTube and it said I needed another three hours and I only have two cards left so I'm gonna go get another five hours of internet and uh, try to upload this this dang movie but that's my mission today but Secondary mission is showing you guys this city. It's really cool. Oh man, the exhaust here is crazy. There's no emissions controls. Uh, the, there's no catalytic converters on any of these cars. Catalytic converters are expensive. They're expensive because they have palladium inside them. Uh, and it, that, that metal is what converts the catalytic process. And uh, almost none of these cars have them. And if they did, they were stripped off a long time ago. But look, I mean, look at this bus. It's about to pass. It's just barreling out. The smog is just barreling out of the cars, man. <coughs> I'm gonna have an asthma attack. I don't even have asthma. <laughs> oh jeez, it's so bad. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the street. They integrated a boat into the walls of the buildings. Check this out. neat. And this is where I have to use the internet. Right here, this is the plaza. So here's a restaurant and they, they charge, you just choose which uh, set menu you want and they charge you a flat rate but it's expensive comparatively it's 
So you can eat for like 50 cents. I eat breakfast for 50 cents. And uh, lunch is gonna cost me maybe a buck, maybe $2. But uh, that place it was 30 bucks for a, a plate lunch. And there was no one in it. <laughs> All right, here's a real restaurant and the food is a dollar, one dollar. There's only three tables. But it works for me, at least there's tables. Usually there's no tables in a place like this. And this is what you get for your dollar. A little salad, a little bit of potato, pork. And this is called kongri, a real kongri. It's really good. I don't normally even eat pork, but all the pork here is grown in people's backyards and it's amazing. It doesn't make me sick. That it's processed correctly. This is the way it should taste. And I'm telling you, I haven't had a pork, I haven't had a pork rib in two years, probably. This is the best pork rib I've ever had in my life. I swear. <laughs> Look at how much fat is on it. I'm just eating the fat. I don't care. Oh, so good. I mean, for a dollar, this is such a good meal. They call this kongri. It's a roast, I mean rice with um, black beans. And then kongri is with gray. So when you put the black beans with the white rice, it kind of makes it gray. And they just call it kongri. It's really good. I still haven't perfected it on the boat yet. You gotta like really, really cook the beans a long time before you put the rice in and cook the rice. I'll figure it out. So after that amazing lunch, I wanted to get something sweet. And uh, I went into the cake shop and I ordered a malt, which in Espanol is malta. Uh, thinking that I would get like, you know, a chocolate malt or something like that. And they handed me this. And uh, it's a non-alcoholic drink, but it's made with hops and, uh, hold on a second, malted barley, sugar, hops, caramel. Oh, it's probably the worst thing I've ever had. <laughs> it's like a beer without the alcohol and with sugar. It's not good at all. I'm gonna throw it out, but, oh. I want to like chuck it down the street. <laughs> it's so gross. got to be hands down the most beautiful place I've been yet on my boat uh, on any boat <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm solo and I'm about half a mile off the beach the beach is right over there there's a um, reef break that goes all along here so I'm actually you see it I'm actually parked on the ocean but the reef break keeps all the waves over there and I've got this beautiful coral bay to fish and lobster hunt in. I got a couple lobster last night. Look at the water here. Isn't that crazy? Now check this out.
I just got back from my first real spearfishing excursion. I think I'm gonna um, um, put the dinghy together and go way out and go into deep water. I didn't catch anything because I wasn't sure what a few species of fish were. <clears throat> like I saw this fish, the queen trigger fish, but she was way different colors. So I wasn't sure. I didn't want to just spear something I wasn't gonna eat. So now that I know excellent food, I'm gonna get me some trigger fish. Turn around, let me see the aftermath of that flop. Oh, man. <laughs> Ouch. It's all good. How do you feel? I feel like a failure. <laughs> <laughs>